Welcome back to the Digital Imaging Channel. I'm Will, and today we're gonna to be posing the four questions you must ask yourself before digitizing your records. Digitization, conversion, digital scanning, digitalization, electronic conversion, they all mean the same thing. It's getting your hard copy records converted into an electronic format. Most of the time, the reason to digitize your records is to use those more effectively and quickly so that you can find what you need and get back to doing what you really need to do, not searching for the records. Projects can be simple, but everyone's situation is a little bit different. And before you start, you need to know what you're getting into. Question one, what made me want to do this? There's got to be a trigger that got those juices flowing that made you think, I need to digitize. Is it a regulation? Is there a statute? Is it just frustration? Did you hear from someone how great digitizing was? Whatever it is, there's got to be a reason that moves you from saying, I want to take these analog hard copy records and move them into a virtual format. Find out the root cause of what made you want to digitize and then consider the weight of that versus moving forward with a project. Question number two, what's the result I want to end up with? Something got you moving towards digitization, but what's the end game? Just wanting to scan your records isn't enough. You need something you can call success. Without a destination, any road will get you there, but not necessarily happily. So have that end result, not just I want to do something and here's what I want to happen when it's done. When I'm finished, this is the result I want. You got to have that before moving forward. Question number three, how am I going to get there? And this is where the research comes in. Are you going to move forward sort of as a do it yourself or you're going to buy some machines, get the space ready, have your folks do the prepping, the scanning, and everything to get your records virtual, or are you gonna outsource it to a scanning partner? We get it if you're outsourcing, if you're gonna work with someone, finding a scanning partner that you trust can seem overwhelming, but there are a couple things you should look for when you're doing your research. Experience is something to look for, of course. How many projects have they done? Do they have a nice breadth and depth of experience? Have they done similar projects to yours, similar record types, similar results, sizes of projects? That sort of experience can go a long way. Security is very important. There's the physical security of protecting your records while they're in their facility, because you're likely going to give them your records to scan. So they're gonna bring it to their facility. How are those protected while they're in their care? Then and there's the digital security. So once those records are digitized, sure, they're protected physically, but what about the digital files? How is their network secure? How are they hardened? How are they protecting your records against data breaches, hacks, and other things like that? Tied in with security is compliance, especially if these are sensitive records, confidential records, you wanna make sure your scanning partner is following guidelines to protect them. So they may be HIPAA compliant if these are medical records, they should be CGIS listed if these are criminal justice information information records? Do they have a SOC 2 audit or any other sort of audit that they can prove that they're doing what they say? Various types of compliance should be looked at when you are researching your scanning partner. Location can be a big thing. If you're intent on keeping the project local, then you may want to find someone in your area. If you're not opposed to having your records a bit farther away or sending them somewhere, then local is not as big of an issue. So depending on your project and what you feel comfortable with, location can be a big factor. And lastly, but absolutely not the least, is compatibility. Ability. You need to feel good about the partner you're potentially going to work with. If everything else checks the box, but you just have a gut feeling that you're just not comfortable, you're, you don't feel you're compatible, that can be a big sign that it's the, not the right fit. So having that compatibility, warm and fuzzy feeling is essential to a project because you may work with someone probably for a few months to get your records scanned. So make sure you do have that fit you are comfortable with your partner. And question number four, is this necessary? And as a salesperson, this pains me to say it, but not all digitization projects are absolutely necessary. Most companies are happy to help you digitize your records. If you want it done, it'll get done. But just because digitizing or scanning your records is an option doesn't mean you have to go that way. There are other options such as storage or even disposal. So depending on the types of records you have and what your goal is and why you're even thinking about digitizing, one of those may be a better fit if it's just, well, I don't really use these, but I wanna get them out of the office. Storage could work, you have to keep them. Or if you're thinking, we never use these, I don't even think it's required to. No, we don't have to. Why would I digitize these? Maybe I can just have them disposed of. So there are other options besides digitization. However, However, if you do digitize, we're sure that's going to have a positive impact because then you at least have that feeling of, I have my records, I kept them just in case, even if I don't think I'm going to need them, there they are in my back pocket. That's digitization. That wraps it up. And those are the four questions you must ask yourself before digitizing your records. I'm Will. Thank you for being with us on the Digital Imaging Channel. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this and look forward to seeing you next time.